Hi, this is Jeff from Method, the number one automation tool for QuickBooks users. Today, we're going to look at how to create a credit memo in QuickBooks Online. First, let's look at what a credit memo is and when you should issue one. A credit memo is a document issued by you, the seller, to your buyer that reduces the amount owed to your business. A few scenarios where it makes sense to create a credit memo are if your customer paid more than what was owed, if they are returning a product, requesting a refund, or if you're rewarding them with a store credit. Once done, you can apply it to an open invoice for a given customer. Now, let's dive into how to create a credit memo in QuickBooks Online. To start, select New, Credit Memo. Note that it's important not to go back and edit invoices that you've already sent. If you change an invoice after you've sent it, you risk changing information from a prior period. To change the customer's balance the right way, use a credit memo. Select the customer you want to give a credit to. Then, select the products and services you want to give them credit for. If this is a credit related to a specific invoice, you should usually use the same products and services you used on the invoice. Then, add the amount of credit you want to give them. If you want to send a copy of the credit memo to your customer, select Save and Send. Otherwise, select Save and Close. Now, let's go over how to apply the credit memo. First, let's open the customer's record to see how each step affects the customer's balance and open transactions. This customer has an open invoice and an open credit memo you just issued them. If your customer has an open invoice with you, you could wait until they pay you to apply the credit memo. But if you want to apply the credit memo immediately, select New, Receive Payment. Then enter the customer's name. QuickBooks automatically selects the credit memo and the oldest open invoice. If this is the invoice you want to apply the credit memo to, select Save and Close. If you want to apply the credit memo to a different invoice, the steps are different. Note that because this is a complicated subject, it's important to follow directions very closely to avoid mistakes. Unselect the credit memos. It's important to perform this step first. Then, unselect the invoices and select the invoices you want to apply the credits to. Select the credits you want to apply, and then change the amount received to zero. If you only want to apply part of the credit to the invoice, change the payment amount. This should leave you with a zero payment that applies the credit memo to the invoice. Select Save and Close. QuickBooks closes the credit memo and marks the invoice as closed, or partially closed, if there's a remaining balance. If you don't usually have more than one open invoice with your customers, or if it just doesn't matter to you which invoice QuickBooks applies the credit to, you can change your settings so that QuickBooks applies credits to the oldest open invoice. Select Settings, Account and Settings. Then select Advanced and Automation. Then turn on Automatically Apply Credits and Save. Note that you can still change which invoice gets the credit if you need to by following the steps we went over before. Now you're ready to record and apply credit memos to adjust your customers' balances. Software like QuickBooks and Method make running your business and keeping customers happy easier. Whether it's customer communication or payment collection, Method automates key touch points so that your customers get excellent service immediately. Perfect your customer experience with your free trial of Method today. Get started at method.me. No credit card or contract required.